What is up guys, Eliminated here from Dark Horse Mafia. So today I want to talk about something that kind of caught my eye close to a month ago, I believe this was leaked or kind of revealed. Call of Duty Ghost 2 by a UK magazine. So this UK magazine right here, uh, that's what I'm guessing, uh, 2016 Most Wanted. So there was a page where they kind of give a sort of kind of information about Call of Duty Ghost 2. You can't, kind of, you can't really read this part, so I'll just read it for you guys right over here and it quotes when creative strategist robert bowling i think that's yeah exited infinity ward in 2012 he put the departure down in the studio doing too much pew pew not enough new new we got to look at what he meant with the release of call of duty ghost a solid yet unspectacular next gen debut for the franchise infinity ward will have had three years to work on the follow-up and it needs to showcase the same creative spark that once held it on the map once put on a map in modern warfare back in 08 if it wants any chance standing shoulder to shoulder with Sledgehammer and Treyarch. So this kind of like confirms it that it is coming and it will be Ghost 2. Now, I kind of want to say what I feel about this personally. And personally, I am excited. Not because I'm a Call of Duty fanboy, but because I like Call of Duty Ghost. <gasps> yeah, I like Call of Duty Ghost. I don't think that the game was bad. And quite frankly, when I look up what people hated about it especially like reddit users some people couldn't like were com trying to i guess you could say they were talking about it and comparing it to last of us which made no sense because this game is not trying to be last of us it will never be last of us yada 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 a lot of people you could say i guess of valid arguments the map designs which felt kind of lazy i agree they weren't the best they were all gloomy dark didn't feel really fun playing these maps and I agree they could use better design as for a story the story wasn't the worst it might have not been crazy but I, I like the idea of having this secret organization and how the two sons were involved especially with like the whole conspiracy of like maybe Simon Ghost Riley is gonna be in this one from Mono for two I think that would be a great way to capture fan attention and I think that would have been fucking awesome if they do that do I think they'll do it no but do I hope yes <laughs> anyway, like I said, I thought that the DLCs were really good. I thought that the sh score streaks were actually much better than Black Ops 3. They were more interesting, more interactive, like Juggernaut Maniac. It was fun. Like, I liked playing the game. Every Infinity Ward uh, multiplayer game that they released for Call of Duty just felt smooth and, like, right on. The only thing this one lacked, I guess you could say, is just design and... That's pretty much it. They included, which is, I'm guessing, what this picture is off, ex um, Extinction, a new game mode. It's not zombies. It's not. But it's fun. You know, it doesn't take away from the game. No one's going to say, oh, fuck Call of Duty Ghost because it has Extinction. No, you don't have to play it. But it's fun. It has the same boss to the wall concept as, you know, zombies. Just kind of, there's an end. It's not like endless zombies. Well, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm excited. I like the multiplayer, how you could design your character. I thought that was fucking incredible. You know? Infinity Ward actually tweeted out right here saying, Call of Duty Go, well, COD 2016, now it's official. Can't wait to show you what we've been de developing. So, the game is coming out in November. Uh, just, you know, right here it says, um, Infinity Ward released November 2016. Every Call of Duty gets released in 2016. I'm not 2016, in November, I apologize. So it shouldn't come to a shock to some people. I'm going to be getting the best edition they have because I am a Call of Duty fanboy. However, this video, I'm trying to be unbiased as possible. I'm trying to say that, like, I hope... Because, you know, we have the futuristic, uh, futuristics, I guess you could say, of Black Ops 3, which is very close comparable to Destiny. You have Advanced Warfare. I personally didn't like it. I thought it was just an overdose of extremely, like, futuristic jumps and stuff. Call of Duty Ghost was fun. It was rounded to sort of like a Modern Warfare 3 type of thing, which I enjoyed. Did it have futuristic concept? Yes, it did. But it wasn't an overdose, unlike other games. Another thing I think Call of Duty name is suffering from is the whole popularity thing. It's just like Destiny right now. If you've been ca keeping up with the Division and Destiny and all that shit, people are talking about Division better than Destiny. You know, Destiny became such a mammoth of a game that it's just cool to hate on it. These games like Call of Duty and Destiny, there will always be two games that people love to hate is what I'm seeing. I don't know about Destiny forever, but for now, yes, because that's what I'm hearing from Division players. I play Division, you know, and the game's fucking awesome, but I don't think people, 
you know understand what exactly they're saying 